Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to the channel today. Today we're going to go over all things China Adoption Dossier related. So stick around for all of that. What's up friends? My name is Winter Hendrickson and welcome to my channel. I have four children um, and we are in process for child number five. We are adopting them from China and we are just about ready to send our dossier off to China. And I wanted to go through some of the steps it took to get to this point um, with you guys because it was so confusing to me in the beginning, to be honest with you, about how this process worked. I was so used to processes um, through the foster care system because that's where my other children, I adopted them from and through foster care. So I was so used to that system of how that works that this one like just threw me through a loop and the paperwork was like seriously so like mountainous to me that I was like overwhelmed like probably 50% of the time just thinking about all the paperwork I had to do. So, but honestly like once I got into this, it wasn't so bad and like our agency is fantastic and they walked us through the process so well and I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up about the whole process of the China adoption. So here it is. So there's three major parts to adopting from China um, as far as paperwork goes. The first part is the home study and there's a whole checklist of that. I have a video. I'll link it below for you so that you know what to do for the home study and the checklist for that. I think it just varies by state by state, um, but also it's very similar. I, it sounds very similar for every state, um, the home study process. And there is different things that overlap into the dossier process. Just so you know, heads up in the beginning, read ahead. That's my advice, read ahead, figure out what you need for the whole process before you start. And then the second phase is the dossier phase and um, that phase, is another giant checklist of things you need to put together, a huge packet of papers um, that you need to um, compile that tells your story to China. So your home study tells your story to the United States. It kind of like lets you know you're approved. It will go into your dossier, um, but the dossier is for China to approve that, yeah, you can adopt this specific child or you can adopt a child, depending on which way you go. Um, we are going the waiting child way, so we either matched before the dossier is sent, or you can do it a different way where you can be matched after your dossier is sent. Either way, you still need to send a dossier to China. It's almost exactly the same, except for in a few parts. And then the third phase is the I-800 phase where you get um, all the legal documents saying you can travel, um, all these things. Um, so the I-800, I'll explain that later when I get to it because I don't know 100% about it right now. I'm not there yet. I'm just in the dossier phase. So let me, I have a whole list of things. So let me just explain piece by piece to you guys about what, what you need to do for this. It's very interesting to me. Um, this whole process has been such a learning curve for me, but I'm so th thankful that I've been able to go through it. And um, quick testimony here. Um, this phase of the journey you need $15,000 for, approximately 12500 for the China um, fees, and then another 3000 for the post-adoption fees. That's what our agency charged us, was $15,000 for this phase of the journey. And praise God, as of today, we have all the money for that phase. We don't have any of the travel money yet, but we have all the money up until this point, and I don't even know how it got there because God is faithful, and, well, I do, God is faithful. <laughs> and we actually do have a lot of friends. Our church gave us money, and then also um, our agency is so amazing. They applied for us for a special needs um, adoption grant, and we got it. We just got it last Monday. It was $3,000, and that was, the last amount that we needed almost specifically for this phase of the journey. So I'm just so excited about that. We have a $4,700 check we're gonna send off today and it will finish the whole the whole process for us. So I'm so thankful for that. So if you're in the process and you're like, that's a lot of money, um, just, just be encouraged. Like we didn't have all the money at all either and it, it showed up and people love giving to kids. Like an adoption is such like a, a good thing to give to. Um, so it's awesome. So don't be afraid because of the money. That is my best tip of the day. So let's talk about this dossier. 
So I have a whole list of things and they want you to can kind of compile it and send it off to them with the list completed. Um, there's two different ways you do it. You can send it to them already completed or like piece by piece, or you can send it to them like the whole document packet. For me, it was easier for me to mentally wrap my head around the whole document packet. So I just started compiling this like um, probably about a month ago. I started just doing one one document a day on my days off here and there. And then it just, it just kind of like knocked it out. And um, for me, it was so like stressful thinking about all the paperwork I had to do. I just literally sat down and I said, what can I do today? And I just did that one document that day. And then just went from there to there to there, um, one foot in front of the other. It will all get done eventually. But um, that was the best way that I could do it. So here we go. So the first one is the family information page, which is so fun. I actually can't show you too much of it, um, but maybe I can just show you the top of it here. There it is right there. And it's partly in Chinese, which is so fun. Um, so this is kind of exciting going to China. Um, and so it just basically just shows you like your, what your passport number was, what your citizen number was, is, and like your date of birth, your height, your weight, do you have any criminal record, what your religious belief is. Just a very generic form about who you are, what agency you're with, um, how many kids you have, stuff like that. So that's a very generic little form that goes on the top of your dossier. Tells you about your family and is partly in Chinese, which is fun. Um, the second one is something I'm very super proud of. I had to write it out on the computer and it is a, a application letter basically talking about the specific child that we want to adopt. So it does has does have their name in there. I can't share it yet till we are letter of approval, which is LOA for all of you in adoption terms. I can't even share who this child is yet legally. So if, if that's why you're wondering why we're taking so long to share, it's because we, we legally can't share with you who they are yet. Um, anyways, it just shows like our intent um, that we can care for their special needs because um, our child does have some special needs and that we are a great family and they want to want this child to come live with us. So that was kind of fun. And then it had to be um, notary sealed, which is good. The second part here is our birth certificates. And I won't show those to you. There they are. Okay, <laughs> it won't focus on them. All right, so our birth certificates, um, they have to be less than a year old. All the documents need to be like recent. So me and Chad both had to apply for new birth certificates. Uh, actually, both of our moms did it for us. They just went down and they got them for us. It was so sweet. It was just part of their process of giving to our new child. So that was, I'm super grateful for them. They both paid for our little birth certificate. So those go next. Husbands goes first. That's just the way it is. It's it's fine. All right, <laughs> and then our marriage certificate. Um, Chad had to apply for a new one of those as well. And so we got a new one um, that is um, up to date. Um, very, very fun less than a year old. Okay, the second part here is where your employer has to get involved. Um, if you're self-employed, um, you have to get like the person that does the taxes for you involved here. Just stating that, hey, let me just read it. Like, to whom it may concern, this is to verify the employment of Chad Hendrickson, who works with this company as a full-time employee for one year and 10 months, which is longer than that now. But Chad currently works as a merchandiser. He receives an annual salary of Da -da -da. Chad's um, probability of continued employment is good. So that's exciting. So, and then those need to be notarized by your employer as well. And then my, bo my boss did one as well. This is to verify employment of Mrs. Winter Hendrickson, who has worked as this company as a full-time employee for eight years. Eight years in retail, guys, okay. Um, Winter Hendrickson is a retail supervisor and currently works as an assistant manager. She reads the salary of whatever yeah, I'm gonna say. And then Mrs. Hendrickson probably. Probability of continued work em employment here is good. So both of our bosses did this for us, which we're super grateful for. And um, yeah, that was work for them. Um, getting people's involvement. This next part of the dossier is called the Certificate of Financial Status. Um, I actually have to get it redone because I can, I'm a, I'm a kind of an open book here. We do a finance channel too. So I can just tell you our net worth is, um, 130,000. It's probably a little more than that, but according to this document it is, but for some reason I put 1,300,000. 
thousand dollars so i need to get this one redone i just noticed that earlier today um but this is a notary seal sealed document as well um it's really fun because as you guys know we're super debt free and all of our liabilities is nothing so that was really cool um to put zero on all the credit card bank loans and home mortgages but pretty easy document to fill out you just fill out all the numbers and our agency actually just had us plug the numbers in so i don't know why it ended up being one million three hundred thousand dollars but whatever um the second phase here the next phase is the medical exams and our medical exams we did it for our home study as well and so in order to save money guys this is probably the biggest tip that i have is to do your medical exam you have to do it on a very specific form here very 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 specific that that china wants you to do um and there's specific like um you have to have a tuberculosis check um you have to be checked for aids just different specific things that china wants you to be tested for that they don't normally do on a routine checkup so you will want to look ahead and that that needs both of these things need to be notarized and I just got additional copies so I could have some in my home study and then also I could have some for the dossier to be sent to China. Husband's goes first, yours is second, but and don't have them staple anything. You don't want anything stapled because let me tell you why. Um, we are electing to pay for having our stuff authenticated and um, certified um, because we live in the middle of nowhere. Um, we just felt like that was the best choice for us um, and this process has been a little more difficult for us and we're just really busy people with four children preparing for another one also foster parents doing all these things that we decided that it was in the best interest not to get things wrong especially since we were pre-matched to go with them doing it for us so we will send all these documents in and they will authenticate them authenticate them so that um they know that they're original copies so and they know how to do that and i don't so i'm super grateful for them um the next part of it is the police clearances i'm pretty sure if not the references yes so there's um oh yeah for the medical exams by the way if you have something that is unusual about your medical history you'll need your doctor to put in there a letter stating that you are suitable for parenting a child. So for instance, they didn't necessarily have to do this, but they did it just in case. I have endometriosis um, and they had to put in there that I am capable of parenting even though I have this disease. Basically, I'm emotionally capable. Like that was kind of their biggest concern. They're like, well, because you can't biologically have children, they wanna make sure that you can be emotionally capable to be able to parent. So that was why they did it. Um, if China doesn't need it or if our agency thinks we don't need it, they'll just throw it out and it's not a big deal. But we just did it just in case not to slow down the process or have to go back into the clinic and spend more money again. We just, we just did it that way. All right. The next one is the police clearances and you guys saw us get those, um, in our little vlog video. Um, super easy. Just go into your local police station and say, I need police clearances. They pull up your name, your date of birth, and then they look at your logs and see if you have any criminal history with your your town you're living in your city or anywhere um it's kind of funny because when we got ours done um the police officer told us that we had a lot of like history in there in there with the police but no criminal so basically we're foster parents i'm a manager at a retail drugstore and i call the police a lot for there because you don't sometimes you just need to call the police as be the person in charge you're the person that picks up the phone and then also with foster care we're in a lot of court records and different things like that so we are in the system <laughs> so we had to look through that quite extensively but that's why I thought that was kind of funny again husband's goes first um, if you live somewhere internationally in the last five years you had to get police clearances from them as well and luckily we've been living here for um, nine years so <laughs> we should we're good and so that was close so <laughs> because we used to live in foreign countries um, about 10 years ago. So it's kind of funny. And then this big, beautiful packet right here is all about our life. It's our home study. Um, you'll get three copies of these um, when you um, do 
your home study, your the person who does it, your local person that does your home study for you will notarize them for it and make sure that they're accurate for you. Um, but you do, like when you get your home study back, you do wanna read it and make sure it's accurate. There was a few errors in ours that they just fixed real quick and it was no big deal, but you want it to be as accurate as possible because accuracy and honesty is awesome. So they, I don't know, it's kind of funny when they write something about your family that make you sound like rock stars and you're like, all right, that's who we are, cool. Doesn't really feel that way sometimes. Um, let's see, home study, and then a psych evaluation, if you need one. We did not need one. We don't have any history of any kind of mental, we've never been on prescription medicines for um, psychological stuff, so we didn't do that. But um, if you were, you would have to do that, um, which probably wouldn't be a big deal. Your doctor or your psychiatrist would have to do that for you. Um, the next one is a picture a very high quality picture of your passport photos, which we did. Um, it cost two dollars, so very very high quality picture. I will not show those just because all these odd documents I can barely show you because there's like all of our information. This it's a very important information on here, and then finally um, reference letters. And I am about to get those back. Um, I have a kind of like a due date of those by next Sunday for the two people in our church. And then we have a teacher that's going to fill one out for us that loves us. Um, and we love her too. She's been fantastic for our family. We just really appreciate her. And then the final thing, second to final thing um, in here is your I-800A form. Um, and you apply for this first. And we just got hers back like a couple weeks ago. Um, but you do need to make a photocopy of it and your agency could help you with this. You just need to ask them. Did you make a photocopy of it and get it notarized? Um, and that's the final thing that will go on the top of it, the last page of your dossier. And then what they do, and then we have to take a few photos of our family. So we take a picture of me and Chad standing by ourselves. And then we're gonna take um, a picture of the front of our house, the back of our house. We have those ones done. And then just a few pictures of the inside of your house three living spaces in your house of you just casually hanging out with your children. Whoopsie. Husband's calling. Casually hanging out with your children with your shoes on for some reason. I'm not sure why with your shoes on. Anyways, so we are just about there and we just send those um, through the internet on email. So yeah. Okay, friends. And so that is the entire dossier process really and truly it's not as hard as you would think um if you have any questions reach out i would reach out to your agency as well they're so nice um we go with holt i'm not unashamedly saying that we go with holt um we really really enjoy their services to us and the um people that the the lady that does the dossiers is fantastic and she's just super kind and they're very prompt to answer all your questions so that's been very successful for our family um we are just feel so blessed um to have that happen and like I said we are almost there guys and then we are still planning to travel in April so we are going to start saving now we're transitioning from saving for adoption services and stuff like that to saving for the travel expenses orphanage donation things like this the in in country money and stuff like that so we're so excited to meet our child um, we think about them all the time we've been starting to um, collect a few things for them here and there um, just really getting excited about adding an additional member to our family so anyways stick around for all that if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button so that you guys could see the whole adoption process things are gonna start getting real exciting around here um, as we are traveling to China here in just a few short months so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video and I'll see you in the next video bye